Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use two tools in the toolbar called the Slip and Slide tool. So if you just click and hold on the toolbar, you should be able to switch between them, and the shortcuts are Y and U. But first, I'm going to explain what the Slip tool does. So I've got three clips on my sequence, and I'm just going to use my regular selection tool for now. So I've got this clip here on the street level, and then this clip from a different perspective and this is a long clip where I wait and uh, see the whole crosswalk happen from start to finish and then we just have another clip so in a situation like this let's say I didn't want all of this I just wanted to capture the moment when everybody started crossing the street now normally there's a few ways I could cut down to this so I could either just simply make a cut and delete this part of the clip and then delete this part or I could use tools like the ripple delete tools to once everyone's done crossing the street and I want to trim off the rest of this I can simply press W and it will just trim the rest of that to the next cut making sure that our track is highlighted but now we've basically got this section where we've got the first clip and then this middle clip and the third now let's say I wanted to slightly adjust this clip because I didn't want people already in the street. I wanted it to start exactly before everyone started walking. Normally, without the slip tool, I might have to do something like highlight both of these, move move over a little bit, and extend this clip out just a little bit so I can find that proper endpoint and then put everything back together. However, with the slip tool, I can grab the slip tool and I can simply click on the clip and I can slip and slide it left or right. And you can see what happens is it's showing us on the left side. On the top left, it's showing the last out point of the clip before. On the bottom left, it's showing us the current in point that we're adjusting to. And on the top right, we see the out point that we're going to and the out point of the clip as well. So basically, we're sliding the clip in place to a new in and out point. And if you want to make sure the audio and video are slipping together, just want to make sure both of them are highlighted. But I can change it so that it starts right here instead. And now if I see it, those people aren't in the street and I get to start the clip a little bit earlier. However, we still have this bit of an issue where I did slide it over, but now since I had the clip trimmed pretty well originally, the clip is not finishing where I want it to. In this case, I can go to my slide tool and I can grab this edge and I can slide it over just a little bit exactly to this point where everyone's basically finished crossing. And it will just push everything over kind of like the opposite of the ripple delete. So you can switch between different tools, but this can come in really handy for when you don't, when you have a long sequence with a bunch of clips and you don't need to be moving and pushing everything aside. Just for one last visual example of how this is working, if you can imagine that these are on different layers, we have the start and end clip, and this original clip has lots of information underneath, but we know that everything that's on layer two is going to show up before layer one. What you can imagine that the slipped tool is doing is basically as if we were moving it like this underneath those two stationary points, getting a new in and out point without having to adjust things in different ways. So just another tool for your toolbox. This is the slip and slide tool. You can subscribe to my channel here on YouTube so you stay tuned for all my new videos and check out a bunch of other video editing effects and tutorials in the playlist on my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.